Hello, I'm Jerome, I'm 16 years old and I live in Belgium. Media is important for me because I have a Facebook account. I don't have a Twitter account, but I watch everyday TV. I play on my PS3 online with my friends. This is the first time I will do an interview and I'm a little bit nervous. Hey. Can I present you as your own? Hello. Hi, Jerome. I'm, Jerome. I'm Nady Cruz. Can I do an uh, interview with you about uh, media? Let's try. Yes. For it's a fascinating uh, subject. Okay. So let's try. Let's, let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay. The first impression of uh, Miss Cruz was very good because um, she was uh, relaxed and calm. And yes, I think she's a, a really good um, madam. Yes. Uh, what does media literacy mean for you? It is a tremendous importance for uh, it is a digital economy. It is a digital society where we are living in at the moment and it won't change um, the other way around. It will be even more digital than we are already aware of. So if you are not able to join uh, the party, then you are missing a lot. First, we have to unite in a digital way the Europe, so 27 Europe, member yes. states and 500 million people living in uh, the European Union. So we have to develop a digital philosophy and a digital policy talking about inclusion, that everybody is indeed involved in all those instruments and can get uh, not only uh, the competence, but also using it. How much time are you online every day? I'm uh, already online uh, at six o'clock in the morning and uh, that is the start of the day and it depends of the program and of the scheme of the day. So you don't have time for hobbies, I think? That is absolutely correct. Yes. Uh, sometimes I'm thinking it is all cruise time, but never Navy time. But during the weekend, I'm always uh, Skyping with my grandchildren oh, and yes, they are living yes. in San Francisco. <laughs> oh. So that is <laughs> Navy time, so to say. Yes, this. Uh, so your hobby is a little bit your work. Well, not only a little bit, <laughs> completely. <laughs> I think um, Twitter is very important for you because uh, you have 37,000 followers? Yes, so and I think that Twitter is an excellent instrument to get a lot of information. And I am aware it's one-liners, but uh, it's giving me a lot of information about what the real people are thinking of Europe, of the digital agenda, of all specific cases that I'm dealing with. So um, without Twitter, I would be handicapped, so to say. What do you expect of media literacy in the future? What is going to happen with our way of filling in our lifestyle, our way of filling in how we communicate with our friends and how you communicate with your uh, dearest. And that is quite remarkable for I am absolutely certain that I could be your grandma. <laughs> yes. and, and having said that, um, of course, I'm still aware um, and can still think of situations where there was no iPad, no mobile phone, uh, no uh, uh, model of uh, LinkedIn yes. or Facebook or I Twitter or whatever. Yes. And you are saying, I couldn't imagine how yes. to live without. For me, it is still that I'm used also to another part of life where you could live without, with advantages, but also with a lot of disadvantages. And that is the challenging issue. And at the end of the day, looking someone um, in his eyes or in her eyes is making sense. So I'm certain that when you have a girlfriend or when yes. there will be oh here here <laughs> yeah, that at a certain moment you will you want to see her and to feel her yes, and it's, it's true. no yes. device will be uh, yes. an opportunity for you so it is nice in between when you don't see her yes. if i sent you a friend request on facebook um will you accept me so let's become friends <laughs> <laughs> you you are a naughty one yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will think it over for, <laughs> uh, if I allow you to be 
my friend and vice versa. Mm -hmm. I think you are a nice guy, but I yes. first want to check who you are. <laughs>